one of several Hebrew words that has made its way successfully into the English language and American culture is chutzpah. According to recent studies, the word chutzpah appears hundreds of times in US court rulings, including several times by the Supreme Court. But I'm not sure how proud we should feel about it. What exactly is chutzpah? According to classical sources, chutzpah means brazenness, audacity, or gall, failure to respect barriers, social norms, and rules. Guy Kawasaki from Apple described chutzpah's calling up tech support to report a bug on pirated software. This is not something we should be known for. On the other hand, recently chutzpah has become fashionable as a positive quality like moxie or courage. In a book entitled Chutzpah, author Inbel Ariely describes chutzpah as a secret spice of Israeli high-tech success. The Harvard Business Review published an article called How to Have Chutzpah. So which is it? Is chutzpah good or bad? And the answer is, it depends. Rabbi Steve Freeman summed it up best when he wrote, you need to have two opposites, a sense of shame that prevents you from acting with chutzpah to do the wrong thing, and a sense of chutzpah that prevents you from being ashamed to do the right thing. To ignore the rules of respect that guide us in normal communication is a problem. No one wants to be accused of chutzpah when it means disrespect. But to feel courage to do something that's right and good despite the potential for criticism is a positive chutzpah to be proud of. Try this today. Keep your ears peeled for examples of chutzpah. How would you categorize them? Is the speaker trying to push past rightful boundaries or just stand up to surly criticism? My name is Benji Brackman and I'm speaking with Kavod.